All right, so this is going to be a quick video uh, showing you guys how to adjust the limits on an old Chamberlain Liftmaster or Sears garage door opener that is a B belt drive. Um, you know, it's going to have just the big belt that loops around. Uh, this particular one I'm showing you is a Liftmaster 1000 series. Uh, there are several different models. I'll leave a list in the description, but I won't be able to list them all because there's just so many of them that I don't know. Um, so, first thing you need to do is take your cover off. Uh, there's a couple different ways. There's either going to be two screws, one on the front and one on the back, just quarter inch screws, and then there's also going to be in these slots here, there's going to be those little tabs that fit in there that you're going to have to bend off. Or uh, it might just be four bolts here and uh, the case so you'll kind of have to do a little bit of maneuvering but otherwise it's just four three eighths inch bolts and the case will drop off so inside the machine your limits are right in here on this shaft you can see you've got two little uh, cams here and um, yeah so um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run this for you and I'm going to kind of show you how these limits work you can see so you have these two white cams, this threaded shaft. When this is turning, this because this goes straight up to the sprocket on top. This is going to move these cams. These cams rest against this plate here, and it's going to. These are going to move up and down. And then there's two little switches in there. You can see one there, and then that one right there for the down limit. So I'm going to run this here, and you'll see how these work. So you can see how they just slowly move down the threaded shaft there. And then it pushes down that plate and stops the motor. Same deal for the other direction. Alright, so most important thing to note when you're adjusting limits on these openers, always unplug the opener before you really touch anything in here because it's really easy to get a shock from get electrocuted with these old units and it's also um, if one of the limits, one of the limits has to be engaged for the door to stop moving. If one of the limits is depressed, then the... Uh, then the machine's going to start running. So always want to have this unplugged. Now setting limits on this is a little bit of a task. It can be a little bit annoying, but it's a pretty straightforward process. So really all you need to do is you've got this plate here that you can see these nuts rest against. So you're just going to unscrew this plate and you don't need to take it all the way off. You can just loosen it up. Come on, there you go. And it'll just slide back like that. And here you can see a little better. This is the, those are the switches I was talking about. Anyways, so now at this point, all you really need to do, as you can see now, I'm able to rotate these cams here to adjust them. So that's really all you need to do. So the top nut is going to be for the down limit. Bottom nut's going to be for the up limit. And essentially, the farther apart these two cams are, the less the opener is going to travel. Um, and you can see they've got a little sort of diagram here. So it's if you want the door to close farther, turn, turn the cam this way. And if you want the door to open farther, turn the cam this way. So it's a straightforward process. It can take a little bit of time to get it exact, but... Once you're done, you just slide this plate back and again just rest it again. Well, just just bring it all the way out as far out as you can get it. Sorry if I'm not really aiming. And then you can just take this quarter inch screw, tighten this plate back down. And that's pretty much all there is to setting the limits on one of these. So um like I said, it's not that difficult, just the most important thing to remember. 
unplug the machine because yeah so uh, the other thing is uh, the other reason really that you want to unplug the machine is uh, so like I said if one of these limits becomes depressed or if both limits are depressed the, the motor is going to run uh, that's just how the thing works and if the if you if the opener starts running when this plate is slid back so these cams aren't able to rest against it that's just going to mess up the whole opener it's going to mess up the whole limit system and uh, then it's a real pain in the ass to get back together and working right so just unplug the opener for safety and also just so that you don't run into any other issues so if you have any questions leave a comment and i'll get back with you uh, like i said this is going to be for any old Chamberlain Liftmaster or Sears garage door opener. Uh, this particular one is from 1977. Um, but got any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helped.